Hey guys, welcome back to another luxury haul. I know it's been a little while since I have posted. I just was a little bit busy. I had family in town and other things going on, but we're back with the luxury hauls. So first thing are four clothing pieces from Versace. So I purchased all of these for Brittany for her birthday and she has been instructed to not watch any of my YouTube videos until after her birthday. That way she doesn't know what I bought her. We did set like a birthday budget and all of that, um, but she doesn't know what I purchased her and I want to keep it a secret, but I have a feeling she might watch this video anyways, hopefully not. Um, so all these pieces are for her. She lives in Arizona where it becomes very hot. So she wears matching like activewear sets a lot and she was trying to broaden her designer apparel collection. So I wanted to assist her with that with some pieces from Versace. First thing are these leggings. They look very small. That's because these are in an extra small. In general, these sort of material leggings do appear a little smaller and they're obviously stretchy, so they fit larger than they look. Um, and these are the Medusa like waistband, uh, sort of Greca, I think is what they're called, Greca um, leggings that have these little like borders along the side. Um, there's two pairs. These are not the cotton ones. These are the like nicer pair. Um, and I love this waistband. I have the like sports bra of this uh, design. And I really like that for wearing under certain tops that have like mesh or see-through. So I thought that these would be really nice, these leggings she could wear by themselves or she could wear them with the like little sports bra sort of top or the tank top that I got her. Um, and by themselves, I obviously mean with a different top that she already has in her wardrobe, not literally by themselves. Um, so I thought that would be nice or she could wear them with the bra top and then with like a mesh top over it. So I love the versatile aspect of all these pieces in the sense of you can mix and match them with each other um, or you can wear them with other pieces that you already have existing in your wardrobe. Next thing is this Versace bra. And this is in, I think these ones, um, so for the biker shorts, the tank top and the leggings, those are all an extra small. If I were ordering these for myself, so if you're about my size, a US four, I would be ordering them in a size small. She's like a double zero. So I ordered her in an extra small. Um, and so here's the bra. These are in numbers though. And I ordered her, I think this is like number one, whatever number was equivalent to like an extra small, um, is what size I got her in this. So this she could wear, um, you know, with a top over it, sort of like mesh or something for a sort of like cute look or a little hoodie over it with it like kind of peekabooing out or an off the shoulder top with the leggings or with the biker shorts. So next thing is this Versace tank top. So it just says Versace in gold here. So all of the pieces, um, the last thing I think I have to share are the biker shorts. Um, are like she can wear them together, mix and match, all of that. So I thought that was really like a good start for her to broaden her designer wardrobe. So here's the tank top and then it says Versace in gold in the front. So this she could wear like with existing jeans or shorts that she has and probably shorts with her, you know, she lives in Arizona, it's very hot there, um, that she already has. Or she could wear this with the biker shorts, the leggings. So I thought these were like really great options for her because she's trying to broaden her designer collection, like in the sense of apparel, she has plenty of bags and shoes, but um, so I thought these would be you know, nice. And I actually really like the quality of this tank top. I was actually going to order this for myself in a small, but they didn't have a small in the website I was ordering on. So I just, you know, ordered her hers, but it feels really nice. And I think it would be like nice for working out too, if you're someone that likes, you know, Versace workout gear. And the last thing from Versace are these little biker shorts. These literally look like they are from the kids department. <laughs> um, a lot of my biker shorts kind of look like that too. Anything that's sort of like a stretchy material does appear a lot smaller. So just keep that in mind. These are an extra small. She's obviously smaller than me. They just look so tiny. They're obviously going to fit her, but it just looks so small. Um, and then the waistband is the same as the leggings. So I love the mix and match of that. So she can wear the tank top with this, a little bra top, another top, or just existing pieces in her collection kind of mix and match and create a variety of different looks. So, so that's everything that I have from Versace. So those are all for Brittany. Extra small if I were purchasing for myself. A small so if you guys are thinking of ordering these i know i have a lot of people that watch these videos that are the same size as me so you guys kind of go off of what size i order things in so i would order all those pieces in a small if it were me um but those are for my friends so that's why i ordered them in a smaller size so yeah i thought those would be really nice last year i got her a saint laurent hoodie and she wears that all over town obviously not her actual town because she lives in arizona it's very hot there so she doesn't get to wear hoodies too often there but she does wear that hoodie that i got her when she's going like she travels a lot to visit her boyfriend travels a lot for work so I know she gets a lot of use of that hoodie and so I kind of wanted to do another like apparel gift, uh, like designer apparel, um, and just have pieces that she can actually wear where she lives since it is hotter weather. So I'm really excited about those. I hope that they all fit her and that's it for the Versace uh, pieces in this video. Next thing is this scarf from Chanel. I've already opened it obviously, hence the tissue paper sort of being a little disorganized. But yeah, this is the scarf. It's just black and then it has this sort of like multicolor little specks of color, like red, blue, green, yellow, or basically all of the colors. Um, it's little like specks throughout the scarf. Hopefully it's noticeable on camera. If I go to edit it and it's not, I'll include another clip. Um, and then it has the CC in black. So it's black over black, which I like because I do not like in your face logos. Um, I know I have that one Chanel hat that's kind of a 
logo dispersed all over the hat. That was an exception. I just find that to be a collectibles piece, in my opinion. Um, with things like a scarf, I don't want a big, you know, white CC on the front. I just feel like that's very, like, new money. I don't know. I don't personally adhere to new money style all the time. It's maybe like 10% of my style is new money. Um, but I typically prefer pieces that don't have a very loud logo. So I like that. And then, and then the trim is sort of this, like, off-white, grayish color on the trims. Um, it's probably very hard to tell on camera. It's so subtle. The CC is literally black. It's the same exact black uh, material and color sewn into the scarf. It's like a very subtle CC. So I like that. So it's not so like, whoa, it's Chanel. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and it's very comfortable and very warm as well. Um, so I really like this. It's also quite wide in the size. So I think if I were to put this on, it's very like, <laughs> it's going to keep you warm, that's for sure. So I really like this. Next thing is this sort of, I think they refer to it as a kaftan top, like a kaftan tunic top. Um, and it does have the Balmain logo dispersed throughout the kaftan tunic top. Um, I would start consider this to be like a short kaftan, personally. I have other kaftans that are like kaftan dresses, and I really love those, and I love the like upscale vibe that you can achieve with wearing pieces like those are very easy. It's just so one and done and it looks very upscale. So I do absolutely love caftans. This one is a little bit on the shorter side. So um, it does have the logo dispersed throughout it, obviously, um, but it's again that black on black, similar to the Chanel scarf. So I like how it's a little bit, you know, a more subtle flex. I like pieces that are a little bit more of a subtle flex, not like Balmain. <laughs> I know I have that one sweater, the blue one, that says Balmain. Um, I just liked that one because it was metallic and it was really soft. But um, I literally want to sell it because I don't really, I, the more I look at it, the more I really don't like the big bum on. So I really like this piece because it's more subtle. It's just dispersed in this sort of like chain print design. Um, so I really like this. My intentions on how I intend to wear this, um, they refer to it as a top, but I have tried it on. I think that this would work as a beach cover up as well. So like a short caftan style beach cover up. So I plan to wear this the intended way of a like tunic or caftan top with like, you know, shorts, pants or whatever. And then I, probably more specifically plan to wear this as a swim cover-up. So at like a resort or something, just adds a more upscale look to wear something like this. I love caftans, I'm obsessed with caftans. And then caftans are typically quite expensive, like the uh, Roberto Cavalli one I have, I think it was like 3,000. I didn't pay that, I purchased that on sale. Um, but caftans are typically, you know, a lot more expensive. So this one was a short caftan, so this one was, I think like 1,000, um, maybe 900, something like that. So I thought that that was a great, deal for something that, again, it's versatile. You can wear it as a swim cover-up or as a tunic top. Next, I'm so excited about these. I received these in PR. They're from Rebecca Valance. So here's the first dress. I will include clips of me trying it on. It is like a midi to maxi size dress, so it is longer. It's going to be very impossible for me to show this without me including try-on clips. Um, it has a zip in the back, which is a little unzipped just so it fits on the hanger at the moment. This is in a size US 4, same with this other dress. Um, this one's more of a short style. Um, I'll just include the try-on clips because this is obviously not doing the dresses any justice. Um, so this one has a little cutout on the sides, which I really like. And then I personally like less revealing pieces and dresses. And I know a lot of the dresses that are just like offered um, amongst a lot of brands tend to be a little bit revealing. So I really like when I can find dresses that are not so revealing. So I did get to pick these out. So I love this one. It's very like metallic. It has all these like stripes and colors. It reminds me a little bit of Missoni as well. I thought this would be really nice to wear like either as a dress as it's intended to be worn or even as a beach cover up. If you're at a resort and you had like dinner reservations or probably not dinner if you're going to the beach, but if you had like lunch reservations and you're going to the beach after, I think this would be really nice to wear over your swimsuit. And then for me personally, I wouldn't want to wear this over my swimsuit once I've been in the ocean or the pool or whatever. So I would then bring a um, other like maybe like a terrier cloth material. Uh, like the terry towel uh sort of material like the zimmerman one i have swim cover up to wear after the beach or you know pool or whatever just so i'm not actually like ruining the dress and then this one is all sequin and it has this velvet tie very beautiful um and it's more of like a short style dress but not too short again i don't like anything that's too revealing so i love this one as well and they're both amazing quality next are some pieces from guess i did receive these in pr as well this is very similar to like rag and bone it's uh, affordable clothing that's you know, high quality than most typical like fashion brands or things like that at a more affordable price point. So the first thing, everything is in either a small or US4, I think they're all just smalls, um, is this sort of like cable knit sweater and it has a hint of metallic in it. So I really like that. I needed some more just like, you know, everyday sweaters for the winter time. And the next thing is this white v-neck, they call it a sweater, so it's like a sweater top since it is sort of a sweater material. Um, and I don't typically like like revealing pieces, this one is a little bit revealing, but I think I could like move it up 
so it's a little bit less revealing. And then the last sweater from Guess, which is my personal favorite, this one is so, so soft and it kind of reminds me of Brunello Cuccinelli, that like brown color um, or like taupey beige. It's very beautiful, very soft. This one is definitely my favorite and I love the, the V actually doesn't fit, you know, it's not very revealing. It kind of tends to fit more like this when you put it on. Um, so I really love this one. It's so soft. Um, so out of all the pieces from Guess, this one I recommend the most. It's just my personal favorite. And the last thing from Guess is this leather. This is real leather, lamb leather um, biker jacket. They have this in black as well. I prefer the brown color. I just like, I personally kind of like brown leather jackets a little bit better than black. I do own black leather jackets and I do also love black leather jackets. I just think brown ones are a little bit easier to style because with black leather jackets, they can kind of have a hard look sometimes if you don't style them right. So this one's really nice and it's real lamb leather and it's at a much more affordable price point than most brands would sell uh, real like lamb leather jackets at. And the last clothing piece is this bomber jacket. Um, so they sent me PR, I think it was part of like an agency thing like a while ago and that was that gold bomber jacket I showed before. And so I actually really liked that one. So I went to order, I'll just look at what other ones they had and I just ordered it myself. Um, and it's obviously faux leather. I believe this is around $100, so pretty affordable price point as well. And um, I wouldn't say this is like an ooh-ah piece, obviously. It's just kind of a basic bomber jacket. I have like certain vibes I like to wear to certain events, you know? So I really liked this one for, you know, a more like street style look. And that bomber jacket is in a size large. I actually ordered a medium. So my typical clothing size and like a sweater or something like this one is like a small, but I want it to be a little oversized. So I did order a medium and they sent a large, which the large actually looks how I expected the medium to look. So I ended up just keeping it. Um, so that is in a size large if you want that oversized look and you're similar in size to myself. Next thing is this Isabel Marat beanie. I noticed I have like a lot of like black beanies, but I didn't really have any lighter colored beanies. So I thought this one would be really nice to add to my collection. I think Isabel Marant is a very nice brand. They have high quality clothing pieces and all of that at a uh, somewhat affordable price point, I should say. Not exactly like Guess or any Dragon Bone or anything like that, kind of affordable, but they do have more affordable than like Balmain, you know? Um, price point, I believe this was like around $100. So um, I just needed like a good light colored beanie to add to my like sort of fall winter wardrobe. Next are these sneakers from a brand called Beha. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, I don't wanna show the bottoms. I've already worn these, so you know, they're dirty, obviously. I'm trying to hold them like this so that way I'm not touching. Normally I'll hold the sole of the shoe if I haven't worn them yet. Um, for pieces that I just, it's from a brand I don't know of yet, I like to wear it first before hauling so I can actually discuss the comfort aspect with you guys. Um, so these are actually pretty price friendly. I think these were around 150 and I think all of their shoes go for around 100 to 200 ish, I wanna say. Um, so I've never purchased anything from this brand before. I really like it. I was thinking the way this purchase occurred is because I was thinking of ordering the Adidas Samba shoes. I'm sure you guys have seen those like everywhere all over Instagram. Everyone has them and they look comfortable. I like the look of them. However, everyone has them. And so that turns me off. If I, if I purchase something and then I see everyone has it, I want to return it. I don't want to look at it anymore. I don't know. I like to have pieces that are more unique. I don't see them around as often. So I did like those Samba sneakers, but I wanted to find an alternative pair that not everybody has, you know? Um, so I haven't seen anybody wearing these. I have seen some people wearing like Beha sneakers, but not these exact ones. And I thought these were a nice alternative for just an everyday sneaker. So it has this little pop of green at the little end of the shoe. And then the rest is just this beige and sort of like off-white color. So I really like these and they are very comfortable. The lip of the shoe, like or the tongue, I think is what it's referred to as, is kind of a little bit flimsy, which I didn't really like at first. It made me kind of feel like the product may not be as good of quality, but it does provide lots of comfort. And I believe these are like vegan leather shoes and that could be why it's a little bit flimsy. So I really like those. They didn't require any breaking them in or anything like that. Very comfortable and quite affordable as well. Um, I'm not so sure about the longevity in the sense of the quality, um, but they feel high quality and they're very comfortable. So I definitely recommend those. And for the price point, I don't really care if the longevity aspect is lacking because they're so affordable anyways. So I have two more pairs of shoes that I have also worn. So these are all kind of more affordable options. I have been wanting to include some more affordable options. I know a lot of people that watch my videos have the budget for the higher priced items that I share, but I know I have some people that watch my videos more so for the vicarious aspect or just for ideas. And then you guys go and try to find affordable options. You'll ask me, um, so I wanted to start just including on my own affordable options that I myself have and I've tried and I can discuss the comfort and all of that. So these are Franco Sarto loafers. I've worn these I think like three times, very comfortable. Um, and I love the bottom, these are the platform ones. So if you guys order these, um, they have a regular pair. These are the platforms, so make sure you order the platform if you want this exact pair. I've already worn them, that's why I'm holding them kind of funny. I don't want to touch the sole of the shoe. Um, and I'll have these linked, everything that I mentioned will be linked down below. And I think these look a lot more expensive than they were. I believe they were like on sale for like $60. They look so much more expensive. They're very comfortable. So these are a great pair of shoes. I love them. Um, 
and I was thinking of purchasing like a pair of Miu Miu ones or something, but these are so comfortable that I don't really want the Miu Miu ones now. And these are so affordable, so I'll definitely have these linked down below, and I highly recommend these. They look so much more expensive than they were. Last pair of shoes that I'm actually the most excited about. These are the most comfortable shoes I've ever owned, and I own probably hundreds of shoes. I'm, I love like, you know, fashion just in general. I own a lot of different things. I've tried a lot of different things. These are so comfortable. Um, I feel like some people probably already know about them, but um, my mom purchased the like booty. They did, these I think are a new style. They're like the uh, thermo mule, I think is what they're called. But my mom purchased the like booty kind. It's a little bit higher. They have like a booty kind in black. I want to say like a year or two ago, whenever they first came out and she was putting them on as we were about to head somewhere. And I was like, what are those? It was like a little bit dorky. Like, and I was making fun of her for them. Then she saw me opening this, you know, the package of these. And she was like, wait a minute, you made fun of me for those. And I was like, these are different. These are a different vibe. So I saw these on at a porte um, and specifically in this color. And I've seen them, you know, in the black color. Um, they also have a white color um, and some other kind of like funky prints. Um, and I just didn't really, those didn't really appeal to me, but these ones, I think just the way they were styled on the uh, model and the deporte just was very appealing to me. So I like ran to order these and I actually ordered these on Zappos instead, Zappos, I think it's Zappos, um, cause they were about like $20 less on there. So if you do order these, I'll have them linked down below. Um, definitely order them on Zappos or Zappos. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that brand. Um, I've never really shopped there before. Um, but the website's legit and all that. I'm sure everyone's like heard of it, I've heard of it, but I've never shopped there before. Um, they were like $53 with tax, free shipping and all of that. Um, whereas on the Deporte, they were like 70 prior to tax and shipping. So definitely order those. I'll have them linked um, down below. So I'm really obsessed with these. They're so comfortable. It literally feels like you're walking on a cloud. Um, these are an absolute must and they're so beyond affordable, like $53 with tax and everything. So affordable. So everybody watching this needs to order these. These are so comfortable. Male or female can wear these. Um, they're so beyond comfortable. And they're like a mule style. They have the booty ones too, if you liked those. I just personally find the mule ones, specifically in the neon green, to be like really cool. Next thing I totally forgot to haul because I'm wearing it um, is this sweater. So this is from a brand called B plus AB. Um, I don't know if it's a B and AB or B plus AB. I really wanted like a funky sweater and it was kind of fuzzy. I just had this. I get these ideas in my mind of something that I want and then I'll be on the hunt to find something that matches an image of something I've created in my mind. My mom's the exact same way. Um, so I just had this image of pretty much this exact sweater and I found like, the exact thing I was picturing in my mind and everything that I found and came across online was like very high price point, right? And I don't mind paying a high price for things that are like loafers or, you know, sneakers, things like that. But when it comes to like a sweater that's not just a neutral tone that you can rewear all the time. I don't want to spend a high price point on something I can't get as much use out of. So this was around, I want to say 70 or $80 on sale, I think. Um, and I ordered this on Farfetch. So I really recommend this one. This one is so cute. It's very like funky. It's not too expensive, you know, um, it's obviously a pretty funky pattern. You can't really wear it as often as you could like a plain black sweater. I really like this one. It's like my favorite sweater at the moment. So there's that. Next are three jewelry pieces from Jenny Bird. So these are like obviously fashion jewelry, not fine jewelry. Um, I prefer fine jewelry for every day, of course, but for things like if I'm wearing like chunky kind of jewelry, obviously it's going to be um, more of a fashion jewelry type of item. So the first thing are these little chunky hoop-ish earrings. And I already see these in PR, so we're opening them together. I don't really know what's inside. Um, so there's those chunky earrings. Oh, I really like this one. Um, it's like a gold bangle. Um, I like how it's kind of thick. This would be really pretty with the Balmain like caftan tunic top as like a little pop of. I just love like bangles with caftans. I think are really pretty. So that's how I probably would wear this. And the last thing is this chunky necklace. So it's this chunky gold necklace. Obviously it's not real gold. So these are just sort of like fashion jewelry pieces that you could wear, um, you know, just to kind of spice up an outfit if, if you're wanting a more gold jewelry piece. So there's those. Um, I think all of these pieces I personally they kind of give me resort vibes. I love chunky jewelry with like a good caftan or nice swim cover up. It just kind of adds this really exotic, unique look. I, I absolutely love caftans and chunky jewelry specifically. So that's how I personally will plan to wear these and I'll have these as well as literally everything I've mentioned in this video linked down below. I almost forgot about these as well. Um, so these are two tailored pants from, I think it's pronounced ASOS. I know I used to call it ASOS and I believe it's pronounced ASOS. Um, which is obviously like a kind of fast fashion. I don't typically adhere to fast fashion whatsoever. Um, however, I had, I basically saw someone wearing these pants in like a gray color, looked exactly like these on Instagram. And then they had them linked um, and that like link to know it thing or whatever. And so I went to buy them and they were I think priced like 150 on this particular website. 
Um, they were sold out, so I was like, I need these pants now. So I looked up, kind of described how they looked on like Google, and these popped up, and there weren't any other ones that looked like these, um, like the ones that I saw on Instagram. And again, I don't typically like to purchase things that I see like someone else wear or something. I like to kind of create my own like unique looks, but I hadn't seen them that many places yet. I feel like now a lot of people are gonna have them, but I still absolutely love them. These fit perfectly and appear way more high quality than they were. I think they were like on sale for $40 each and I was not expecting them to look good in person. I was like, I've made a mistake. They're going to arrive and I'm going to want to return them immediately. Uh, but they actually look really expensive like compared to the price point. I would think these were like two to $400. Um, and they fit really well, like a little glove. These are in a US 4. Um, sometimes fast fashion can kind of run a little small. These run perfectly true to size. Um, I don't have them tailored, nothing. They're perfect length and everything. So I really love these. Um, I wear both of these in a TikTok. I'll have both on the screen right now. Love these so much. I know a lot of you guys were asking where they were from. So these are from ASOS. Last thing I'm going to be sharing in this haul are three holiday scented candles. So the first thing is this Mason Francis Sapin candle. Um, I love this brand for candles um, and laundry detergent as well. I had a little issue with Miss Laundress. Um, if you guys have heard of, I'm sure the majority of you guys have heard of Laundress. I might have even hauled some of the laundry detergent that I like, and like the wool spray and all that from that brand. I love that brand for laundry detergent, all things laundry. I literally own probably everything that they sell. And then I had a, an allergic reaction to their laundry detergent. Like my neck was like beet red, like little circles of red everywhere. Very itchy, and I guess it turned out that detergent is no longer um, able to be sold. I guess it didn't pass protocol or something. They found bacteria in it, um, which I'm so disappointed with because I love that detergent. Um, so just, if you guys own that, probably stop using it because I had a really bad allergic reaction and they found bacteria in it, so it's no longer safe to use. I absolutely love sap and candles. So there's this one from that brand. And then I'm not going to haul the laundry detergent just because it's just laundry detergent, but I did want to mention that about the laundress one. So anyone that has that is aware of that so you guys can stop using that. So you don't have that allergic reaction that I had to making my neck itchy just thinking about it. Um, it was itchy for about like three days and it just went away, thank God. Um, but it was very scary looking and quite itchy. Um, so it was so shocking because that brand is like pretty known, especially for laundry detergent. So it's pretty shocking and disappointing as well because I love that scent. Um, last thing are two holiday scented candles from Diptyque. This one is in Neige scent and this one is in Sap and Scent. So, um, I believe this is kind of the same. I was trying to, my mom and I were kind of trying to test it because this is their new Sapin one. We have the one from last year and probably the year prior to that as well. Um, and the packaging is different. And I'd say the scent is slightly stronger than last year's because we still have last year's candles. My mom purchased kind of a lot, but um, and she likes to have backups of her favorite scents and whatnot. I believe they only sell these Sapin scent during the holidays. So if you guys were thinking of trying out this scent, it kind of smells like pine. I definitely recommend the dip tea candle. One difference I will say between the dip tea candle and the Mason Francis one is this one's definitely a little bit stronger. I personally have a really bad whiffer for lack of a better descriptor. Uh, so I can't smell things as easily as most people. I'm not really sure why. I've always just been like really congested just throughout the entire year more than most people. So I can't smell as easily as most people can. So I personally prefer the stronger scented one which is this one. Um, obviously they're two different brands. However, if you wanted a more subtle sapin scent, then I would opt for the Diptyque one. If you wanted one stronger, I would go for the Mason Francis one. So I'll have these linked down below as well as everything I've mentioned in this video. So that's it for this luxury haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and enjoyed the kind of aspect of me sharing more affordable pieces. I will be doing that in my upcoming luxury hauls from here on out, kind of including some more affordable pieces for you guys as well, for the people that maybe watch to kind of find something that they like, that they can find something a little less expensive but similar to something that I share that's obviously a little bit more expensive. So I like to include affordable pieces and options as well. So I'm going to start doing that in my upcoming luxury hauls. And uh, let me know if you guys had any recommendations or certain things you wanted me to haul or see in my haul videos. Um, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.